Hello Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you at this time. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius. Ace of Wands. Oh, Ace of Coins. Nine of Coins. Page of Wands. Page of Cups. Under the deck is Judgment. For some of you, this could be about getting a promotion or raise at work. Someone is telling you, you don't see this coming either. Someone may be really admiring you right now. They may admire your style or the way you dress. Um, a conversation could definitely take place between you and this person. This is a nice reading already. So let's dive in and see what this is. What is going on for Aquarius? What is this Ace of Wands? I don't know what that is, but it wanted to come out. King of Cups, out in the cold. Oh, oh, there you are, double. All right, so this person obviously has their eye on you. Um, I don't even know what to say, I'm kind of speechless, but it's kind of like, with, it's kind of very obvious with the devil being under the deck. Uh, they may be a Capricorn, but more than likely this person is a little obsessed with you, but they miss you, so they're not around you or something, or? They feel like there's space. It feels like there's space between you. So it doesn't have to be physical space. It could be mental. It could be you guys just aren't talking right now or something. But what is this Ace of Coin? So this person, it looks like, is going to offer you or they want. Look what's under the deck, you guys. Okay, this person is definitely drawn to you physically, romantically. So what they want is to go back to maybe the way things were. Because if you're not talking right now, if you guys are mad at each other or there's distance between the two of you, they're not happy about this. So they want to go back as fast as possible to the time when things were happier. Six of cups, two of cups. You guys are definitely past like soulmates. So, but again, I have to just stop and say like when I see the page of wands or the ace of wands, I like people who speak their mind, don't beat around the bush and say something to you. Whether it's the ace of swords or the ace of wands, it's like this person's going to speak to you maybe... Uh, very in, in a very passionate way they're going to tell you what they're thinking and feeling it could be sexual it could be with ace of wands and what i'm seeing so far but let's just see we'll see oh they're not surprised to see him the devil temperance and the star card it's interesting it's almost like giving this person the cold shoulder knowing that they really like you or no this person sees you as a nine of coins. So if you picture the other deck where the where she's standing there balancing the two, right? The two cups. This person is trying to play it cool. We got the heat of the devil and the coolness of the star. This could definitely be a Capricorn, but um, you might be a cusper too. Some of you might be on the cusp of Capricorn. So maybe January 20th, 19th birthday. But this is trying not to show how they feel, but I think they give it away when they talk to you. This page of wands is a very flirty energy, but what is this page of wands? Oh, page of wands, king of coin, and the seven of cups. Okay, some of you definitely work with this person, okay? Uh, has some sort of interaction with them. They think about you a lot. They wonder, you know, wonder about you. Maybe you don't know them well enough, or maybe you haven't been talking to them, so they're wondering where you're at. They could be a person with lots of options, but they definitely are drawn to you very strongly. Like I always say, the page of coin, when it comes to talking, is a, is a card of someone who just talks about the weather. They talk about the news, the stock market. They keep it kind of business-like. The page of wands, though, is pretty flirtatious. So I have a feeling this person has a hard time covering up how they feel about you. They try to play it cool, but I don't think they do a very good job if they're coming out with the Page of Wands. I feel like this is them also. So here they feel very romantic because of the distance. They're feeling very sad. That's between the two of you or something, or they're feeling, emo maybe emotional would be a better word. This Five of Coins is just feeling kind of empty, right, without you. So you're going to get a message probably from them. If you don't see them on a regular basis, you're going to get a message that just is... It might even be a little bit off-putting. Let me do your outcome. Because, you know, the Page of Wands, I mean, he, who knows what this... At least they're not coming as the King of Wands. The King of Wands or the Page of Wands would tell me they may say something slightly inappropriate. I mean, you, you might like it. But if you're not expecting it, it might offend you slightly. But let me see. Because it's coming, it looks like, from a place of love. Obviously, Two of Cups, Six of Cups. But 
Maybe they're just really missing you. And if you guys have been together intimately, they're really missing that as well. But let me see. Full Knight of Wands, the Five of Cups. Wow, look at this energy. Because I'm laughing because, okay, he's coming up or she as the Knight of Wands, right? So it's like uh, kind of the King of Wands. Are they a player? But then the Five of Cups is feeling sad. Sometimes it's an apology. And then the Three of Swords confirms it. So I, I like it. So your person... Well, I don't think your person's hot and cold. At least I don't think so because it doesn't look like it here. But they're, they're definitely, you may be dealing with a person who might start crying, maybe unexpectedly. Like one minute they're really happy, the next minute they they have tears. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But um, working together, communicating about this relationship. Or they can be sad. Okay, so this person's making a decision about what to say to you. Ace of Wands, Two of Coins. On one hand, on one path, they could just stay sad. They could just stay in this Three of Swords. On the other hand, they could try to articulate how they're feeling. Let's work this out. They're going to say what's on their mind, Ace of Swords, about this relationship in you. So actually, I like your person. I'm going to give them credit because instead of just sitting at home and worrying or wondering about the two of you, they're going to say something. So I feel like your person is coming from a good place. They're coming from the heart. And... Yes, they're very attracted to you, Aquarius, but there is love here. So it's not all about just your physical appearance and what they want to do with you. What's this Five of Cups? So, Justice. I love it. Your reading is so clear. Um, it could be a Libra, but probably just like this is the right way to handle things. This is the right way to do things. So I don't know what's led up to this. I don't know how long you've known this person. This could be somebody newish, newer, or this could be someone you've been with or been around for quite a while. They do seem to want a connection or a long-term commitment with Ace of Coins here. Um, it's like they have the commitment part down and they have the attraction part going here. So it's like they have the best of both worlds. I kind of like the Page of Cups. I thought maybe it was you talking back to them, like communicating back and forth, but I think this is also them talking to you. So again, we have cups here, so I like your person um, so far. Let's see, five of coins. So they see you as the nine of coins. They may see you again like you have it all together. Um, you guys all know what the nine of coins is, but you work hard. Oh, yeah. So they admire you. You're not easy. So this isn't a game, though, right? Let me see something here. Seven of cups. Message, see messages coming straight towards you. So again, they see you as being very confident, Aquarius. They like the fact that you work hard, uh, you dress nice, you have nice things. You're like an empress energy, basically. You're not going to just let anyone approach you. You know, you're not easy. You're not a pushover. None of those things. Let's see what your person would say to you. Well, this one... What would your person say to you? What would this person say to Aquarius? I'm starting to understand this connection. I was telling other signs. This card is starting to come back out again. And I like this card. It means people are waking up. And it had gone away, this card. It wasn't coming out for a couple months now at least. And all of a sudden I'm noticing it this past week. And this is such a good thing because, it's, again, it means they're woke or they're waking up. They're realizing, wait a minute, this, this Aquarius is out of my league, so I need to step it up as well. I need to be, you know... I need to treat them better. You know, instead of just slacking off and being like, okay, whatever. I don't have to really try hard. I don't have to look good. I don't have to, you know, make sure my breath doesn't stink. You know what I mean? They want to look good and, and they want to make a good appearance and all that stuff. I feel like I'm rambling. I hate when I get this way. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean? They want to impress you. And that's important to me to see someone wants to do this for you, Aquarius. So what is the message from spirit? Let's go to spirit. It's like I have the feelings. I just was telling somebody in my private reading, I have the feelings. I know what they're trying to convey to me and I have to come up with the words a lot of times and I'm not as articulate as other readers and things just don't come naturally or easily. So go slow. Oh yeah. And trust. So what this might tell me is, yes, the physical connection is going to be there. The attraction is definitely there between the two of you. So just slow it down. Make sure you guys are getting to know each other and I see too many relationships where they where their physicals rushed and then everything else kind of gets ruined. This could be something long term because this person admires you. I see like there's respect here and you don't want to lose that respect too quickly, especially if the person's coming in like the Knight of Wands, Five of Cups. I kind of feel like they could be kind of messy and then lines can get blurred and you might feel sorry for them. And then I don't know. 
I kind of want to know though, is this person playing games? I feel like there could be a slight bit of game playing here at this person. Like you could be a notch on their belt. Like if they tackle you, like they've gotten the big one, the big prize. I don't know what the game or what, what that would be, but you know what I mean? Like, like you're hard to get, you don't, you're not easy. So if they were to win you, like, is this a game for them? Do they, are they really in love with you? Or are they, you know, are they manipulating you or putting an act or is this love? I might extend this one. You never know it's going to come out. Cause like I see it, I see hints of it. I'm not going to lie, but again, maybe, maybe there's Scorpio and there's a little bit of secrecy going on or that's, you know, Aries, sometimes Aries has energy kind of like this. Sagittarius can be just a big flirt. So, you know, I want to know what they're really like. This is good here, but it's, I see things around it that kind of make me wonder, are they really a flirt? Are they just trying to get a notch on their belt? So I'm going to extend it. I'll put the link below. Have a great week, you guys.